primary ingredients for our white velvet cake, we have 12 ounces of cake flour, 12 ounces of white sugar, a teaspoon of salt, a tablespoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, five egg whites, four ounces of vegetable oil, 10 ounces of buttermilk, six ounces of butter, and two tablespoons of vanilla. Our egg whites are, should be to room temp. In a bowl, we have all our dry ingredients, which is our cake flour, our sugar, salt, baking powder, baking soda and we're going to put it in the mixer and we're gonna mix this on low for a few seconds to get it all well, in well incorporated. We're gonna take our oil and half a cup of our buttermilk about, there you go and we're gonna set this off to the side. We're gonna take the remaining of our buttermilk, and we're gonna mix it in with our egg whites. Mind you, all this is at room temp. Okay. Then we're gonna take our vanilla, and we're gonna break this up a bit. Not too much, just so it's all well combined. And now we're gonna set this off to the side for a bit. We're gonna take our butter and come over here to our mixer we're gonna put it on low, and we're gonna slowly combine our butter into our flour, salt, sugar, baking powder, baking soda. Okay. And we're gonna let this get well combined. And our butter is also at room temperature, which means it's not straight out of the fridge. It's been sitting out for a while and it's soft and you want to get it well incorporated, like sand. Okay, so you you're add it slowly. Yeah, you're adding it slowly, and you want it to be a coarse sand-like, or little pea, pea shapes. If you don't have a mixer. You can do this by hand. You can it's gonna it. take you a little bit longer, but so knead it like a cake or something? Yeah, like your you would put the flat, the butter in and you would squeeze it with your fingertips okay. to get it incorporated enough. To get the same texture. To get the same texture. Okay, so after two minutes, you're going to turn off your mixer and you're going to see how it's a nice, sandy, coarse togetherness with That's all the cool. butter and the flour. Right. So we're going to turn our mixture back on though. And we're gonna take our- Can you over mix this? Not at this point, no. Okay. But once the cake is all put together, it is definitely- When the liquid goes in. When the, yes. Okay. So we're gonna take our first liquid that we set aside, which is our oil and our uh, buttermilk. And we're gonna pour it in slowly. There we go. And it's going to come together. And we're going to put it on four for about two minutes. For a hand mixer, this would be on high, right? For a hand mixer, no, it would still be on low. Okay. It's medium. It's medium. actually medium. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And it's going to beat for two minutes. And then we're going to add the rest of our mixture that we have set aside egg, the rest of our buttermilk, and our vanilla. And this we're gonna add in three stages. Okay. So it's been about two minutes. We're gonna shut our mixer off, unlock it, and we're gonna scrape down the sides of our bowl. And we have this beautiful, light, airy batter. And it smells so good. Okay, so now that our bowl is scraped down. What does this do? Uh, we're just gonna make sure all our batter is well Mixed. combined. Okay. And it's off the sides, so. So we're gonna add our egg, vanilla, and buttermilk mixture in three parts. 
We're gonna wait until the first part is mixed in. Each part is mixed in well. And we're gonna lower it back down and add the second part. That's well combined. Once again, the last bit of our mixture. I'm going to go in. There we go. I'm going to wait till that's well combined. going to scrape down our bowl again and make sure everything is well combined. And we're going to mix for another two minutes on medium. Yeah, that high was a little violent. That was a little violent. <laughs> when your batter is done mixing, this is what it's supposed to look like. Smooth and silky. So it's a really delicate batter because it's so fluffy, it'll fall. So you want to be real light with it. And you know how sometimes you smack your tray down to make sure all your cupcakes are level? You don't want to do that with this batter. It's like the most gentle ice cream. It is. Mm -hmm. 